Congress returns to session this week, and so does the gun control debate. So today, the mayors of Miami and Parkland were in Washington calling for universal background checks. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Miami with more. Hank. Well, two South Florida mayors all too familiar with gun violence, as you said, in Washington today lobbying for those background checks. Here's a story. The president recognizing the bravery of first responders during the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton. Behind the scenes, several of the nation's mayors, including the mayor of Dayton, Ohio, pushing the White House on background checks. You've got to start with universal background checks. The American people agree with it, so it is an action that will save lives. Whaley also joined Democrats on Capitol Hill to demand the Senate take up the universal background checks bill the House has already passed. The mayors, including several from South Florida, with the Parkland massacre and the Fort Lauderdale airport shooting etched in their resolve, met with White House policymakers. We are here pushing for universal background checks. We had a very open dialogue back and forth, and the administration, the top policymakers from domestic policy from the administration, said that everything was on the table, and they were very open to listening to us. Kellyanne Conway and other members of the White House were, were there, were very attentive. And they basically assured us that there were many different options that they were exploring and that were on the table, and that uh, the president will be unrolling, you know, will be unveiling uh, what his package will be shortly. But the reality for the mayors and their background check crusade is we are talking about a lot of different things, but at the same time, we have to protect our Second Amendment very strongly. The holdup for background checks, the U.S. Senate. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell will only move on background checks if the president gives him the okay. And in Florida, guns are a big issue. Florida, a state where the president needs to win in a bid for a second term. Obviously, in the state of Florida, 77% of Floridians are in favor of a universal background check, and that's something that is supported by Republicans, Democrats, and independents. Back live here talking to sources in Washington this evening. No one seems to have an idea when and if the president will give Mitch McConnell the go ahead to introduce a bill. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you. We'll keep following it, Hank. Thank you.